Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Man, oh, what a hit. They come out on an empty backfield. the stop at the 49-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Caught, and he's hit immediately. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He steps out around the 50-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Makes a grab and steps out right away. They come out in a five-wide set. around the 14-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 14-yard line, first down. He has some room. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Check three, check three, check three. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. really hard to defend the pass with your back to the end zone. It can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. That was a nice play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice eight play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 7 0. And they can forget about returning this one. Florida's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 23. He scrambles. And he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 37. First down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Let's go! These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time.
Steps out of bounds around the 40 yard line. That's good for the four yards. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on the 40 yard line. First and ten. From the forty five yard line. Down. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike forty five. Check Mike forty five. Here we go. Huh? The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. That'll make it 39. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he just gets rid of it. Second and 10. Ball on the 32. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. This is the 12th play of this drive. Four down, four down. 45 the mic. Set. Whitey. Hot. White. Whitey. Gets past the tackler, and down he goes at the 13-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13. He's tackled at the 17. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Set. Green 90. Run, 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 run. The 10. He's taken down at the one yard line. That's good for a game of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Gators! The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And down he goes at the 20. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one.
Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Mike 12, Mike 12. Hit, hit, hit. And he's hit immediately. Bring him down right around the 46 yard line. Kill, kill, kill. And he's taken down at the 24 yard line. Stop right around the 14 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Number six was the short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Third down. Touchdown, Volunteers! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. the PAT. So a seven play, 79 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Out of bounds at the 29. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. And he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself. But in this case, try to show some guts. Break a tackle and get downfield. Look for the first down. He did not get to the first down marker. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So he got a little on that return. But, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tennessee is up a score. Nice run there. shot they were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff that'll bring up second and 12 from their own 36 yard line second down let's go right here now close the 
They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Yep, and this is why you need to is at all times. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 40. Pretty good job by the return man there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 50. That's a three-yard pickup. And a great job of not allowing this explosive freshman to do anything with the ball after the catch. And he throws right away. That close to being intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee is up by a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 32. First down grab. Tackle at the 50. He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. From midfield, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Check three, check three, check three. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled in the open field. That makes it fourth and four. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's second and 12. Ball on the 18. Well, we've played a half of football. Tennessee's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Tennessee's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Set. Wide. Check, check. Box two. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense scoops it up. Brought down at about the 45. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to about the 46. That's a deep nine play. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Set. Red 18. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. the 46-yard line. It's second down. He gets another carry. Tackled after decent pickup. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Line. 
They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and it's up the upright, and it's good. Florida gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Volunteers have certainly had their opportunities to put this thing away. I don't think they can uh, say they haven't, but they haven't been able to do it. Well, it's just sloppy execution on offense. You know, whether they're turning the ball over or they're, or they're being forced to punt, this is just not an offense right now in rhythm. And they have, they've blown their opportunities, and now they've got to hold on and hope that they can get out of here with a win. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tennessee is up four. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throws a bullet over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Ready! Check, check! Tiger! And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check mic 45. Check mic 45. Set. Green 88. Put high. Green 88. He's taken down at the 49. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. 45 to mark. Set. Red, 68. Red, 68. He's at the 40. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 22. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. the mic. Ready! Green 95! Green! Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. Fires to the wideout, first down. And he's taken down around the nine-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Hits him hard at the 11. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Run, run, run. Hey, check by 45. Check by 
And they'll get him in the backfield. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. But you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. It's up and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Mike 12, Mike 12. Tennessee up a point. <laughs> Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Tennessee's up by one. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and seven. for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down and they need to get it to the 23. He's going right. Complete. It's the junior. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. Touchdown, Volunteers. just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, right now, they're looking at a touchdown, obviously. A field goal does them no good, so it's four down territory. You obviously, have got to do a good job of moving the ball, getting out of bounds, using the timeouts, and just being smart on how efficient they need to be as an offense. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. their own 23-yard line. Second down. And he's leveled at the 42-yard line. That's good for a game of 19 yards. First down. It's the tailback who gives him an eight-yard gain on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice 
run there. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 34. Less than three minutes in the game. Again, they bring him down. They're coming after this part. Booming kick. He'll take it from the 18, and he's taken down at the 24. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Zips it to the tight end, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line. First down. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Flores out of timeout. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Five, 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 five. The 10, big play, and it's first and goal. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Nice run up the middle. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. This is the eighth play of this drive. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 21-13, Tennessee. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Tennessee came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.